AI agents are changing coding. And if you're not aware of AI agents and you don't know how to use them, you could potentially be falling behind your competition and not be able to land the jobs that you want because you're not aware of this new trend. So luckily for you, today in this video, I'm gonna show you exactly how you can vibe code your own AI agents and plug them into your own coding projects to create some super impressive resume projects using AI agents that are really going to impress recruiters and that can even help you monetize your projects and make money. I will first of all explain to you exactly what AI agents are, how they work, so you can be up to speed. Then we'll show you exactly how you can create your own AI agents from scratch and connect them to your own fully fledged full stack application to create some very unique coding projects. And I will even show you a full tutorial on exactly how to create your own AI agents and your coding projects on top of these using a tool called Toolhouse AI, who are, I believe, the best tool in the market to create your own AI agents. They are by far the easiest to use because they have created this chat interface that essentially allows you to just buy the code your own AI agents. But more of them in a moment. But first, you might be asking yourself, what even are AI agents and why should I care about them as a developer? So AI agents are essentially like your own AI assistants that have the ability to remember things and to actually accomplish tasks. So you're definitely aware of LLM models, these AI tools like ChatGPT, Claude, etc. And what they can do is essentially simply provide you information. So they have some training data that they're trained based on and you can ask them questions. And it's essentially just like a glorified Google search that can give you more specific answers to your specific questions compared to a Google search. Essentially what AI agents are is behind the scenes, they work based on one of these LLM models, like the ones you're used to using. But on top of these, they have some additional additional abilities that essentially allow them to accomplish tasks. So for example, these AI agents have memory. So if you give it information or you can give it your own documents, something that is not in its training data, you, they can then use this data using something called retrieval augmented generation to essentially provide you more personalized responses and things like that. And on top of this, the really cool thing is that they can actually plug into external services. So imagine rather than simply getting an AI to give you an answer to some question, what it could also do is take that answer and send it as an email to someone or plug it into Slack and send it as a Slack message or plug it into Notion and write you notes based on it. Or it could connect to many different tools. Like it could, for example, read notes from your Notion by connecting your Notion database and then use those notes, repurpose them and perhaps turn them into Slack messages or linear tickets or something like that. So essentially AI agents are just like AI models that you're used to using, except they have these additional abilities that allow them to also so accomplish tasks rather than just giving you information. So I hope that makes sense. That is why AI agents are so powerful and why they are the talk of the town in the AI world and why you absolutely need to know how to use them. So how do you then create your own AI agents? Well, the problem here is that obviously creating an AI agent that can accomplish tasks is gonna require some pretty complex setup in most cases. Let's say you wanna connect your AI agent to Notion, for example, what you would have to do is connect it to what's called an MCP server, which is like a port that Notion has opened to give information in a structured way for AI models to read and basically do stuff with it. Connecting an LLM model to something like the Notion MCP server would normally be quite complex. But luckily, we have a tool called Toolhouse AI that is purpose-built to solve this challenge. What it essentially allows you to do is simply use a chat window to buy the code these AI agents. So rather than using a chat window to like do stuff, like give you information, you can use this toolhouse AI model to create AI agents that can then in turn do stuff for you if that makes sense. I'll show you in more detail how this works in a moment. What Toolhouse essentially does is it simplifies the creation of these AI agents. Anyone with no knowledge of the behind the scenes of like how to create these agents, maintain the like vector databases for their memory and connect to MCP servers, like all this kind of stuff, you don't need to know any of that. You just need to describe to Toolhouse what kind of AI agent you want. And behind the scenes, Toolhouse will go ahead and create this agent for you, which you can then in turn either use yourself using their agent studio or plug into your own coding application. And on top of this, Toolhouse is automatically already 
connected to a lot of services. For example, if you want to have an agent that can do web search, like that's the activity that it can do, Toolhouse already has a database of these MCV servers, so these services that is already connected to. For example, it can do a web search, like I just told you, it can send emails, it can describe images, it has memory built in, like all of this infrastructure is already there behind the scenes. You just need to describe for what specific kind of agent you want. And on top of this, if you want to connect to additional external MCP servers, like the Notion MCP server or Slack or whatever services, that provide access for AI agents to plug into them, you can also easily do that within Toolhouse. And because this tool is so great for AI agents and for anyone learning them, I asked them if they wanted to sponsor this video and they agreed. So if you are interested in using Toolhouse after this video, you can use the link down below in the description to get 50% off using my code InternetMadeCoder. That is the code InternetMadeCoder for 50% off. So that's enough talk. Right now I'm going to show you exactly how this works. So to get started, you're going to go to toolhouse.ai and straight away when you arrive, you're going to see this chat window that you can use directly to essentially create your own AI agent and see how it works. But what I'm going to do is click on sign up over here and I already have an account. And once you log in, you are going to see something like this. So right here in the center, you can create your own AI agent or you can click right here at the top to create a new agent. So I'm going to click over here that is going to take us to Toolhouse houses agent studio. So this is like the place where you create your AI agents. So right now over here on this message window, I can give a description of what kind of AI agent I am looking for. So the first agent we're going to create together is a personal travel planner. So what I'm going to do is over here, I'm going to copy paste a prompt that I created before that describes to Toolhouse what kind of agent that you want to create. Now, with these prompts, you want to be as specific as possible. You want to give as much information as possible and describe exactly what it should do, what kind of output it should create. So here I'm, for example, telling it use web search and scraping tools. So I'm telling you explicitly what tools to use. And again, you can see exactly what tools you have natively available in the MCP servers database of Toolhouse, which you can also find right here on the side panel. So you would find the kind of tools that you have access to and you could use that as inspiration perhaps for the kinds of agent you want to create. So I am telling it to use these tools to find flights, hotels and attractions store user preferences and past trips in memory. So it's going to use its own memory and then use retrieval augmented generation to use this information to create better, more personalized advice and generate detailed travel itineraries and packing lists, send booking confirmation and reminders via email. And we can do that natively because Toolhouse actually has access to a tool called send email that allows us to send emails directly via this AI agent. And then schedule pre-trip check-ins and post-trip feedback requests. So I'm gonna run this command right here. Toolhouse is gonna run, it's gonna tell us, great, I will create an agent that acts as a comprehensive travel assistant. And what is going to happen next is that it's going to create this file over here. This file is gonna be in a format called YAML that essentially defines precisely the structure of this agent. So this is essentially like the recipe for your AI agent. We can also click here on code, which is going to show us this YAML file on this right hand window. So it's going to have an ID that's auto generated. You're going to say if it's public or not. And it's going to have a title that is user generated, essentially just a name for the agent. And then we have the system prompt. That is essentially the prompt that is going to be run every time someone calls this agent. And you can read this over here. You are a smart travel assistant designed to help users plan and manage their their trips from start to finish, blah, 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 blah. And then it's given us a list of all the responsibilities that this AI agent has. So of course you could create an AI agent manually without Toolhouse and manually create the system prompts and everything using this YAML file, but that is a lot of work, isn't it? It's a much easier to just give a very simple human text prompt to an AI and let the AI create this prompt for us. So we are using an AI prompt to create the AI prompt that is gonna be used by this agent. We have a message, which is basically an example message. It has the format on how you're supposed to essentially call this AI agent, which is like, for example, I want to plan a trip to Japan in October for 10 days. Please help me find flights, blah, 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 blah. So we're gonna copy this just as a template. And now this agent is essentially finished. Like when it comes to creating these AI agents using Toolhouse, that's basically it. Like we now have the agent and we can try it 
right here inside of Toolhouse's Agent Studio to make sure that it works. So I'm gonna personalize this message a little bit. So I'm gonna say trip to, let's say Tokyo, for example, in October for, let's just say seven days. Please help me find flights, hotels, and top attractions and create a detailed itinerary and packing list. I'll just tell it, please also send me an itinerary and packing list as well as booking links by email. So now we're gonna run this agent. So now to be clear, before we were running Toolhouse's AI agent that is creating our AI agent. Now we are running the AI agent itself. So then it's given us a response. I'd love to help you plan your Tokyo trip. Please provide the best recommendations and send you the itinerary to provide the best recommendations, blah, blah, blah. I'll need a few more details. So it's gonna ask us for some more details. So I'm gonna copy paste this over here and Departure city, where you'll be flying from. Let's just say Jakarta, because that is where I am currently. Exact dates, I'm flexible. Budget range, let's say 300 per night. Dollars, travel style, luxury image range. Let's just say luxury, on a luxurious trip in Tokyo. Special interest, let's just say food and culture. And now it should give us our itinerary how many travelers to adults and then it's going to ask us for our email address so we can send this itinerary to us which we are going to provide over here just like that and here it is telling us using mcp server memory store so it is now storing this stuff the information that i gave it in memory so i can use that using rag in the future it is also using the mcp server search and actually we'll we'll let this run first so it's using the mcp servers exa web search which is essentially the web searching tool so the ai agent is on going to the web searching for information and then taking that information to create our itinerary it's using web search with content so like a different web search tool so you don't even need to tell it like oh use this tool for this this tool for that it actually understands it so then it's given Here's a summary of the best recommendations for your seven day trip to Tokyo in October. Blah, 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 blah. Then he's told us, I will send you an, a detailed itinerary packing list and booking links to your email. Would you like to include any day trips? Um, no. Day trips, please send this to me and we will see if we receive this email. So here we can see that it is using the MCP server sent email, which we saw before when we looked at the list of MCP servers available. And if we wait a moment, we will see that we have received an email from AI at toolhouse.com with my seven day Tokyo itinerary. So it looks like our AI agent is working as intended. So next, we're going to publish this AI agent using this button over here called Publish. And right now, we can choose what we want to do. So first of all, it's already created like a Toolhouse hosted front end for this AI agent, which we can access now at any time over here, or I could even send this to anyone I want, and they could use this AI agent to create their own travel plans, and it would have its own memory for every user, everything like that. However, if you want to customize your own front end, you can also do that. So first of all, you can always access this AI agent using the Toolhouse API. So there's now your own API endpoint of which the URL you can find right here that you can call using curl from the command line or using any programming language. So you can go and custom code your own application that uses this AI agent in whatever way you want. Or if you just want to quickly get a front end up and running, they have a feature where using either Bolt or Lovable, they have created for you automatically a prompt that you can go and copy paste to one of these services that can create a front end for you automatically. So we're gonna try this with Lovable, for example, if we copy this and then we go to Lovable, which if you're not aware of it, is essentially a service that allows you to vibe code applications using this AI chat window. So we're gonna paste the prompt over here and I'm just gonna customize this a little bit because this was just a template. To so build a chatbot interface similar to ChatGPT for a travel planning application have it styled as a travel planning app that users use to create travel plans i'm just quickly making this and then already over here this 
template prompt from Toolhouse is describing that when the user sends the message, call post to this endpoint over here with the JSON body, blah, 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 blah. Like we don't need to worry about how to make sure this front end connects to our chatbot correctly and things like that. This is already done for us. So now we can just call this message over here and let Lovable create our front end for us. Or obviously, again, you could go and code your own application. And what I recommend doing is using them like this with the system prompt to get the first version and then you can get the code and go and customize it however you want into your own applications. And while this is creating our front end for us, I'm just gonna show you a second example of a second kind of AI agent that you could create. So I'm gonna go to Agent Studio because I already actually did this before. And what we have here is a personalized book recommendation agent. So over here, this is the prompt that I gave it. Use Rag to upload a collection of book summaries, reviews, and user preferences. So it's gonna essentially take in preferences of books from the user and store that in its memory and use that to give better recommendations in the future. The agent can recommend books based on user interests and past reads. It can generate concise summaries or key takeaways for recommended books. Integrate with email tools to send personalized reading lists or summaries to users. And then again, this Toolhouse AI has created us this YAML file that defines the specifics of these agents and you can use it like this. So I can go here to agent runs that has a history of all the runs that I've used for all of these agents. So for example, over here, we have the details of the agent and everything like that. And what I told this is something like this. I recently read and enjoyed Ray Dalio's The Changing World Order. I like to read books about geopolitics and economics, specifically about big trends. Can you recommend me some books and send a list to my email? And then we can see the details here okay use this mcp server and you can even click here to see exactly like the details of what it has had as arguments and everything like that like all of this obviously happened automatically we used memory store memory store took this long to do that this long to do this and eventually he gave me this response with a book recommendations list, which is actually really good. I took a look at some of these books before and they definitely sound very interesting based on the information that I gave it based on the one book. So that is just another example of what kind of agent that you can create. Now let's see if our lovable front end is done and looks like it is. So here we have a front end travel AI assistant plan your perfect journey. So now we have a front end that is more customized to our specific AI agents. And you can look at the code over here and essentially you can then take this code and go and customize it yourself. And this is now automatically connected to our own AI agent. We're gonna give it a very similar prompt. Actually, I'm just gonna go and copy the same one to save some time and see if it works. We'll go here, give it the prompt. It's going to think and it's giving us the same kind of response where it would ask us for more details, everything like that. And at any time you can then click on publish to essentially publish this application. And now there you go. This application is live. If you want to use my travel AI assistant, you can do so in this URL right here. So that shows you just a quick overview of how to create your own AI agent using vibe coding inside of Toolhouse AI. Just to briefly show you some other things that you can do with Toolhouse. So here we have, first of all, the agent studio where you have all of your other agents. You can at any time go and like find the URLs for the API, like however you want to use it. Here we have all the agent runs for all of the agents that you have used. And then we have what's called bundles. So bundles are essentially like groups of MCP servers. And you can create these bundles to like restrict what kinds of MCP servers specific agents can use. So essentially you can create a bundle over here and select, for example, this one, this one, and then we can give a name for this bundle, like example bundle. And with this bundle, what you can now do is when you're creating your agent, you could specify that it only should have access to the MCP servers inside of this bundle rather than all of the MCP servers. And then over here we have schedules, which allows you to schedule 
any of the agents you have created to run at specific intervals. But for the rest of it, I'm gonna let you explore Toolhouse yourself. Again, if you want to use it, you can get started for completely free. You get 50 agent runs for free that you're gonna use to try out this tool. And again, if you want to then get 50% off on whatever plan you choose afterwards, make sure to use the code internet made coder at checkout. So I hope this was helpful to you. Now you know exactly what AI agents are, how you can use them and how to create your own projects with them in just a couple of minutes. With that, I will see you in the next video.